What's up guys? It's Crypto Girl. Welcome to my first video ever. People are usually interested in the process of mining but are put off by how intimidating it sounds. But I'm here to show you just how easy it really is. Trust me guys, if I can do this, so can your mom. So let's get started. Today I'm building a mining rig to mine SafeX Cash, the cryptocurrency that powers the SafeX marketplace. Here, you can shop online, pay with crypto, and get it delivered through Amazon right to your door. There's some really cool things on here like Zandabex Rolex, <laughs> but they also have some really cool things that are coming down the pipe. I mean, I'm just hearing through the rumor mill, so I want to get in early. I got all of my supplies at Micro Center. The staff is super knowledgeable about crypto mining and can help point you in the right direction. First up is our motherboard. I use the MSI B450A Pro Max. I really like this one because it's the most affordable one on the market and has six PCIe Express ports which essentially means that I can dual mine SafeX as well as Ethereum. Next up is our CPU. I use the Ryzen 9 3900X. This will come with your CPU cooler. Uh, they're gonna be in the same box, it makes it super easy. Then you'll need two sticks of RAM. I use the four gigabytes DDR4. Then you'll need your power supply. I use the 500 watt power spec. Your graphics card, I'm using the Power Color Radeon 6600 XT. The 6600 just came out. It's a much, much better price point, and I personally find it to be a little more efficient, uh, so I recommend going with that one versus the one that I'm showing you here, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They both work really, really, really well. Uh, the last thing you'll need is your Wi-Fi. Uh, in my picture, I have the AC600 wireless USB adapter. All right, next up is our motherboard. Make sure that you don't touch this with oily hands, and we're going to be building on top of our box. We're going to be installing our CPU next. Our CPU is the brain of the computer and what we'll be doing the mining. To install that, we're going to go ahead and remove it from its packaging. Again, make sure that you're gentle with it. You don't want to bend those prongs that are on the back. To install it, there's going to be a triangle on the edge of that card. It's going to align perfectly with the triangle on the motherboard. To install that, go ahead and lift up your lever, place your card there. Now make sure that you're not pressing it into place. It should just kind of fall into place. You'll kind of just feel it wiggle it around a little bit but again don't press on it because you don't want to bend those prongs there we go lock it in place by lowering the lever all right next up we are installing our ram when handling your ram make sure that you handle it from the top never touch that bottom metal with your hands we're going to be inserting this into slots two and four for dual channel and optimized speed to insert you're going to release those locks on either side. Place in your RAM, press evenly on the left and right side at the same time. You'll hear a really satisfying click that will be locking your RAM into place. Do that for both cards and you are good to go to the next step. All right, we're gonna be applying thermal paste and then we'll be installing our CPU cooler. Our thermal paste is going to make sure that the temperature is regulated uh, throughout the CPU to the CPU cooler. CPU cooler is going to be super easy to install. Uh, it comes with hooks on either side of the cooler itself. Uh, those are going to hook onto the motherboard and that lever that I showed you will lock it into place. First, we're gonna go ahead and put our stencil on top of our CPU. Now, it's really important that this is centered because again, we want this to be distributed evenly. Uh, go ahead and apply a generous amount on there. Uh, it comes with a spatula. Smear it out a couple times. Make sure that those holes are completely filled. Um, and then remove your stencil. And voila, there you go. Now we're going to be applying the CPU cooler. As I showed you before, there are hooks on the cooler itself and the receiving hooks are on the motherboard. Go ahead and push it on there. Make sure that that lever is as loose as you can get it because that just kind of helps you uh, snap it on there a little more easily. 
All right, now we have our CPU cooler attached. And once it's on and you hear it snap, uh, you will lock it into place with that side lever. Now we're gonna be um, going to plug in our CPU cooler fan right there into its port. You'll see it says CPU fan. Here's that badass graphics card that I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. If you can get your hands on one, I highly, highly, highly suggest it, guys. I can't tell you enough, it's my new favorite. That's really easy to install. Uh, you see that first port right there next to your cooler. You're gonna go ahead and pop it right in. Again, you'll hear that satisfying click and it is locked in place. Next up, we'll be installing our storage drive by attaching our SATA cable to the storage drive. The SATA cable is a black cord that came inside of your motherboard box and it's responsible for transferring data to and from your hard drive. Plug it into the SATA cable port on the back of your motherboard. We're going to be installing our PSU next. Our PSU is our power supply. Doesn't have to be an expensive one. If you are going to upgrade your hardware later, you can upgrade your power supply. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our 24 pin power cable and we're going to be plugging that into our 24 pin header on the motherboard. Once that is in place, we're going to be plugging in our eight pin CPU power cable into the CPU power header of the motherboard. Once that's installed, we will be moving on to our SATA power cable. This will give power to our storage device and allow it to be functional for installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. It's an L-shaped adapter. You just line it right up. It slides in really easily. And then last, but certainly not least, we have to plug in our graphics card. There's an eight pin power cable that's going to be plugging in directly on top of your graphics card. Just make sure you line it up. And then you should hear it click right into place. Now, because you have a fan that will be running, make sure that you keep your cords tucked away for safety. And the last thing we'll need to do is install a USB network adapter to get an internet connection. Now head on over to safebex.org and click on the downloads tab at the top of the screen. We are going to be downloading the Safebex wallet software for Windows. It will take a few seconds to download. Open the file when finished. Windows may or may not ask you for permission to run the software. Click more info, then run anyway. Wait a few seconds and voila, the front page of the SafeX Marketplace. Next, we'll be downloading the mining software. You can check links in the description to find the site easier. We are going to choose the MVSC Windows 64 version because the tutorial states it's slightly faster. Extract all files. Head on over to your file and right click on the XMR executable file. Click properties, scroll all the way to the bottom and check the unblock box. Next, we'll be opening our JSON file. Scroll all the way down to find the text we'll be editing. All we're doing here is directly copying and pasting from the tutorial. Scroll down to step three of the tutorial and you'll find the steps to properly make changes to the text. Scroll down to the bottom of your JSON file to edit the appropriate text. We're essentially telling XMR rig to mine the SafeX algorithm while connected to the SafeX pool and to distribute mining rewards to your SafeX wallet. Don't forget to add your personal SafeX address to the JSON file instead of the default address in the tutorial. Make sure you save the JSON file. Now you're ready to mine. You'll just need to right click the XMR rig executable file and select run as administrator option. You are now mining SafeX Cash. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you so much for watching this video today and I had so much fun building this miner. Um, it's really just elevated my experience in my cryptocurrency journey. 
Um, I really encourage you guys to give it a try. DM me on Twitter if you guys have any questions about it. Like and subscribe and share it as much as possible. Thank you so much.